Good evening, folks. Evan Taylor Jones here. Welcome to Breaking the Billboards. Let's get right into things. Uh, but before we do, let's talk about this beautiful machine here. It's a wood splitter. And if you can look behind me, there's a big pile of wood there on a wood pad that uh, my dad and I and my son built. And then uh, to my right, there is another wood pad identical to that one that's in use right now that I built myself uh, so that we can collect some more wood and organize it better, kind of left to right, old to new. You know, in the rainy seasons, it makes it easier for the wood to dry out. So, uh, and then thus it'll burn better um, for your colder months. Let's get right into things. Most of what is in the Hot 100, as far as the Billboard charts, is actually still Christmas music. So what is kind of nestled in between the Christmas music, as far as like, you know, the top 100, are songs that would be top 10, you know, top five, uh, if the Christmas music and the Christmas spirit was not still at play. So just keep that in mind. So this is a, another moment in time for me to challenge your mind. All right, right into it. This is Kill Bill by SZA. <laughs> Kill Bill. It's at number 11 on the top 100, but it would probably be number three. So let's examine the lyrics, shall we? I'm still a fan, even though I was salty. Hate to see you with some other broad, now you happy. Hate to see you happy if I'm not the one driving. I'm so mature, I'm so mature, I'm so mature. I got me a therapist to tell me there's other men. I don't want none, I just want you. If I can't have you, no one should. I might, I might kill my ex. <laughs> Not the best idea. His new girlfriend's next. How'd I get here? I might kill my ex. I still love him though. <laughs> Rather be in jail than alone. All right, I'm stopping there. It got really bad when she said I might kill my ex. You guys see the front rows of these concerts the first five rows, first 10 rows of these concerts. You tell me what you see. Go go look at a recent SZA, S-Z-A, S-Z-A is how you spell the name, SZA. Go look at a recent live concert of hers and tell me what you see. You'll probably see 15 and 16 year olds in the front rows, the first five to 10 rows. That's pretty disturbing. I might kill my ex, not the best idea. So now you're telling girls to have these thoughts but don't really do them, but still have the thoughts. It's so unhealthy, guys. And then at the end, you know, she repeats it. I might kill my ex. I still love him, though. That's psychotic. And you need help. Shouldn't be teaching young girls that this is the way to express our feelings. Degeneracy. Uh, I'm not a fan at all. Not a fan of SZA. Not a fan of this song. It's trash. Why in the music industry we're condoning even the thought of killing anyone and putting it in a song where we know it's going to be popular it's unacceptable moving on it is creeping by metro boomin the weekend and 21 savage oh just can't believe this man metro boomin wants some more in i g g a somebody said they saw you the person you were kissing wasn't me. And I would never ask you. I just kept it to myself. I don't want to know if you're playing me. Keep it on the low. Because my heart can't take it anymore. And if you're creeping, please don't let it. So, so this, is, this must be one of the, uh, the whinings. Yeah, one of the whinings boys. Old gospel family. Uh, one of the whinings boys. Went from gospel to R&B and made the song corny, blah, 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 wah, wah, wah. 
I would just say, guys, go listen to that other song to find out how terrible this song is. Go look at a live show of Metro Boomin, of 21 Savage, of The Weeknd. Look in the first 10 rows. Tell me how many 15 and 16 and 17 year olds you see. And some of you may be like, oh, 17, that's old enough to discern and go to a live concert alone without your parents and watch these other people, you know, take drugs because EXO, because The Weeknd, because Oxycot uh, and Ecstasy. Guys, they don't belong there, especially with lyrics like this. So, yeah, number 22 on the Hot 100. Without the Christmas music, it'd probably be number five or six. And on my list, it's six feet under. It's terrible. Worse than a slow death. Next up, Cuff It by Beyonce. I feel like falling in love, falling in love. I'm in the mood to F-U-C-K something up. Tonight, I'm F-U-C-K-I-N-G something up. Baby, I need some drink in my cup. I need a drink. Hey, pour me a drink. I'm in the mood to F-U-C-K something up. I'm in the mood to F-U-C-K something up. She has daughters. I want to go missing. You guys know that Beyonce and Jay-Z are on that uh, flight log, that famous flight log. I want to go missing. I need a prescription. Promoting running away, promoting prescription drugs. Y'all know Beyonce is one of the most popular and radically influential people uh, in the music industry. Y'all have seen the first 10 rows at her concerts. Drinking is what I see here. Running away from your family, your parents is what I see here. Prescription drugs is what I see here. As if we don't have an epidemic of all three. I want to go higher. Can I sit on top of you? Ooh la la la. I want to go where nobody's been. Want to go where nobody's been. Have you ever had fun like this? Have you ever had fun? We gone F-U-C-K up the night. Black lights. Spaceships fly. Spaceships fly. Yeah, unapologetic when we F-U-C-K up the night. F-U-C-K up the night. We getting <laughs> effed up tonight. It goes on to say more of the F word. It's trash. And ladies, sexual liberation. Sexual liberation is not liberation. Beyonce ain't it, guys. So that was number 38 on the Hot 100. Probably would have been number 7, 8. Nothing good at all about it. Moving on. Something in the Orange by Zach Bryan. It'll be fine by dusk light, I'm telling you, baby. These things eat at your bones and drive your young mind crazy. But when you place your head between my collar and jaw, I don't know much, but there's no weight at all. And I'm damned if I do, and I'm damned if I don't. Because if I say I miss you, I know that you won't. But I miss you in the mornings when I see the sun. Something in the orange tells me we're not done. To you, I'm just a man. To me, you're all I am. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I poisoned myself again. This song was, this, this, this song was, it, it's, you know, somewhat wholesome, but poison. Nah, come on. Something in the orange tells me you're never coming home. Let's continue. I need to hear you say you've been waiting all night. There's orange dancing in your eyes from bulb light. 
Your voice only trembles when you try to speak. Take me back to us dancing. This wood used to creak. Most of the crowds, guys, are young minds. Unless you're Alan Jackson and you ain't singing about, you know, what Beyonce's singing about. Unless you're Travis Tritt, you know, unless you're, you know, you're what they would call a legend. Um, but if not, most of your crowd is going to be young folks. So Poison doesn't sit well with me. I like lovey-dovey songs, meaning ones that drive home the point of appreciation on a very deep level without mentioning necessarily sex or sexual qualities. I want to bring something to you guys' attention before we move on here. And I always try and take it back to God. Um, all of these lessons that I've learned in my life, it all just goes back to God and our relationship with him. Man, since the beginning of time, since Eve decided to make the devil her number one priority when she was seduced, Adam was then cursed as having the woman be his number one desire in life. And not just for reproduction, not just for looks, but literally because Eve, quote unquote, bowed down to the devil, to Satan, man, Adam was cursed and bowed down not to God, but to woman, to Eve. Here you see that this song is going to great lengths to express the desperation of a man towards a woman. And I don't like songs that are desperate, are clearly out of desperation, especially on a level like this, um, where the woman is desperate for the man or the man is desperate for the woman. It sounds like in this song, this man, Zach Bryan, will do anything, anything for this woman, even if it were wrong. And other than that, guys, well-written song. And if it is country, I'll say country usually is. I've never heard the song. This was number 42 on the top 100. Probably would have been number 8, 9, 10 on, uh, you know, the top 100 if the Christmas music wasn't there. Not my cup of tea. Might be my cup of coffee uh, in a desperate time if I'm camping out. So. Last one here, guys. You Proof. Mr. Morgan Wallen. Number 46, top 100, it would probably be number 9, 10, 11 on the top 100 without the Christmas music being uh, filtered into the top 100. Let's get to it. Yeah, I've been throwing down the whiskey. I ought to get my money back. And someone said it drowns a memory. Ah, but it ain't doing jack. Yeah, I've been sipping, I've been buzzing, shooting doubles like it's nothing. Ah, but nothing makes you go away. I need something you proof, something stronger than I'm used to. Yeah, I've been pouring 90 to 100. Feel like nothing's gonna cut it. That's the hard truth. Yeah, I need something you proof. Oh, I need something you proof. All right, so this song is about drinking a girl away. Not a good idea, guys, to drink your problems away. That's what I have to say about this. There's a time and a place for everything. Getting drunk is not fun, especially if you have a family and you're passionate about family and you're passionate about life. But then again, if you're getting drunk, all the time you're probably not passionate about life and you probably do not have many responsibilities so it's all about what you want in life drinking your problems away is not the way to go that's what i want to say it's garbage
Yeah, it's garbage. And the way the song is written, the way it's produced, rather, uh, it's got the 808s. It's got the trap beat. And that's garbage. There's a study that's been done. The results came out stating that 808 beats, the frequency, the depth of it, it, it invokes anger. We don't need any more angry folks. Anger's not of God. I've been working on that lately. So that's it, guys. That's our five for today, breaking the billboards. I appreciate you tuning in. I appreciate everything uh, that you guys are speaking into my life, my family's life. Uh, we've got a lot of things coming up. I've got a lot of projects coming up, woodworking, going to build a table out of a uh, avocado tree log. We're probably going to get more manure. So maybe we'll get videos of these things. We'll put up little clips, maybe some shorts. Uh, but if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Hit that like button and share it with friends and family. Let them know that there is never a better time to challenge your mind. And this is another one of those times where I get to challenge many minds. Challenge your friends and your family because they're not your friends and your family if you're not challenging them.